And welcome to day number six of the ownership with dilemma. As you can see, we have parked in a such an adequate location and in beautiful sunny Italy with palms. All right, so today we're just gonna we're just gonna leave some stuff in the car because, as you can see, I'm prepared for something else. Definitely not driving, and it's relatively early in the morning. Let's go. If you watch previous episodes, you will know that we have technical difficulties. <gasps> it unlocked! It works! This is a miracle. This is a miracle because that's probably because I have I have plugged out <laughs> I plugged out the radio out of here and I think that's what was draining the battery. That is freaking awesome. If the car actually starts, I have to strap it. If the car actually starts, it's gonna be awesome. It's beeping. <laughs> it works. It was freaking radio at the back that was draining the battery. And when, and yesterday, Anya just said in the middle of the drive that it wasn't working. And I was like, hmm, that's suspicious. So I just took it out. Anyway, that's what it is. I'm so glad we found an issue. I mean, end of the road trip now, but last day we didn't have to jump start it. And as per usual, I already unplugged as every night the front radio as well, just in case, but the front radio works just fine. That's where we're gonna enjoy the first part of the morning. Anya, are you happy? Yes. Yes. So happy. <laughs> Today, today is Monday. Very tough. Very tough. Yeah. I'm so. not sure whether we should lay a bit more or maybe swim a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> tough decisions. decisions. <laughs> oh my God. Yes! Yes! Amazing! I love this car now. I love it. It suddenly works! Yes! Go! Okay, hello Slovenia! We've crushed yesterday thousand kilometers and today Today we've crushed another, I don't know, 200, 300 so far. And now we have 500 more to go. It's 8 p.m. You know, you've seen our morning, so that's why we are very late as per usual. Hello, monsieur. Hello. What's up? Who are these presidents? Presidents. <laughs> ciao. Ciao, ciao. James, can you go a little bit slower because I'm doing unboxing. Alright, so we get the Dyson warranty, some more paperwork, we've got some uh, attachments, this attachment, this attachment, tube, and the main beast, this attachment as well, we've got this smaller type of brush, got a holder that goes on on the on this tube to hold your attachments like so oh this is heavy this is a brush for flat surfaces and then YB11 is special is because it has this torque brush for uneven surfaces with this brush with carbon fiber uh, bristles and this harsher one and it detects the surface that you're cleaning and then it adopts the power and the speed of the brush very clever then we've got a charger and a James can you please try and avoid tunnels? 
not funny, I need some lighting here. I'm doing professional unboxing. Oh my god. Oh, -ho! thank you. If you can turn on the um, sky uh, uh, skylights, please. Yes, perfect. Now, this is a bit too much light, so if you can turn off these. Yeah, perfect, perfect, James, thank you. And then there is this, which you attach to the wall so you can hang so you can hang like that on, on, on the wall. So I bought the 11 before and the, the other one they, that I bought earlier this year didn't have a detachable battery. This one does, which is pretty cool. So you can just replace the battery like a charge, ch 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 I don't know how you call that in a, in a gun, but yeah, like that, like in a gun. And then you just go, so really to test it out, we have to vacuum some stuff here. I know it says fully charged before first use, but I really don't have time for that because it's important that all of these are gone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely spotless here. Look at that. Absolutely clean. I've missed this part, but that's fine. We'll just place it there where I did the vacuum. James, you will be pleased with the current state of the limo. You see, I don't do advertisements on this channel. I did work at Dyson, but they didn't pay me to make this video. But this is a perfect opportunity. Look, we are, this is like house. It's been a house for past 2000 kilometers. I mean, at the moment, 1,500, it's gonna be 2,000 by the time we get home tonight. And you, you clearly make a mess. And it's a perfect opportunity to use a cordless vacuum cleaner to clean everything like I just did. It's brilliant. James. Again? I've broken this again. Oh, oh no. Good, good, good. We're cruising at 80 miles an hour. Brate, koko puta udarim glavom. And welcome to Belgrade. We've crushed another 700 kilometers today. It is 20 past 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Anya. Anya! Anya has been obviously sleeping for past four hours. <laughs> Beauty sleep! <laughs> Did we make it? Almost, man. Don't jinx it now. I'm not gonna jinx it because we're like five kilometers away from home. This is surreal. This is surreal after three full days of traveling. I'm gonna check the mileage, but I think we've done around 2,300 kilometers or something like that because we didn't take the most straightforward route because we were visiting some friends but this is awesome we went swimming we still have swimming we went, <laughs> we went swimming yes all right tanya some final words before we end this uh this video here if you can do a road trip like this do it yeah it's, it's awesome it. it's so awesome that's it we are literally home so that's the end of this vlog there will be many, 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 many more vlogs and videos with this limo. Maybe some modifications. If anyone has any ideas, please put them down in the comment section below. Beautiful Belgrade waterfront on the left of us. All right, so that will be it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe because of Anya's beautiful face. And we'll see you in the next videos.